Hey guys, how you doing? So uh, tonight we are doing a 90 series video which is going to be a diff breather install on a big socks rig. So... Up here, we've uh, already fitted the breather system. So with that, it's just riff nutted into the wall and it's uh, secured by one bolt. Um, We've done that and sealed it up. So if you know water gets in there, we found this is the best spot for it. Um, it's the highest point in the vehicle. So from there, we will then um, get the car back up on the hoist and uh, we'll install the rest of it. And we'll show you that as we go. So yeah, so the uh, front diff, which is kind of hard to see, is that pipe that runs there. So that's your front diff breather. And then, just up here, right up there where my hand is, that's your transfer case breather. So it needs to be done. And then, up the back here, on top of your diff, just here, by your brake line. Handbrake. Is that on? Handbrake cable. Handbrake cable, that one too. <laughs> that's your um, that's your rear diff breather. So they're the ones we are going to be doing tonight. Um, we'll get his diff breather kit sorted and all buttoned up, and then uh, he can go splash through some puddles without filling his diffs with water. They're still the engine, but he still has to do his snorkel. So that will be on the cars at some point when he's ready, because I've got the tools to do it. So anyway, we'll get to it and we'll show you how how it goes. Okay. The Train, uh, the jack under here, drop the f***ing pants. Well you can, if you want. I did it without doing that. It runs up by the linkages. Do you want me to show you again? On the transfer side. On the transfer side. If you need to, go look at the other trans. Stop, stop. Move your hand That's away. not the transfer. Mm -hmm. That's the f***ing trans side. This is your trans side, not the transfer. Yeah. But it, they're both joined. Right, so that, that's the one there. That one there. Yep. That one up there. Okay. The person who owns this motor vehicle needs to clean it a bit better. Yep. Look at the mud up in your in your lines. Look at this guy. I don't even know where you get it. Nah, let me get the uh, hammer on that. And that will come off eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fall down to the right. It's gone to Narnia. All right, so generally when you're doing this one, just a bit of uh, fuel injection hose works. So 7.5 mil ID, it'll be pliable enough to go over. And uh, yeah, chuck that on. So you need to stick it over top. You need a, you need a hose clamp as well. It'll lose fit it. No, you won't need to. It'll just, it'll just go straight on. Playing with a knobbly bit. Playing with his rubber hose. Sure. Want to put some warmish water on it? Right? Shouldn't have to. Went, went straight on the other one. Oh, I should go on there. There we go. Can't really see much, guys. But he's winning. Is that right? I reckon, like a, well, like a li on a little bit more than that. About there. Let me get my hand up in there. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, that's on all the way. Just whack a hose clamp on it. Yep. So up in there, so got a little bit of rubber hose on. So we'll put a hose clamp on that. Then you'll feed the plastic airline pipe into that and it'll generally will lock itself in, so. Uh, that's not bad. That'll work. That would that would just sit up there like that. Yep. Um, obviously, can't really unscrew that, but yep, that'll work. No worries. Beautiful. Alrighty. So that one's done. 
And now we use the uh, fittings in the bag here. So one of those on a right angle. So we just use that and we'll go into the diff that way or possibly even go the straight one here. We'll see. Straight one might be a bit better to go, which is uh, that one. So we'll decide which way we're going to go on these. I would say probably the straight one for the diff. And, um, and yeah, we'll go from there. And we'll show you how we do the front diff when we get the vehicle down after we've run the lines. So sweet. Let's get it happening. So, if you're having problems, wind up the bracket here. It's just like having a torch, isn't it? Just about. And then, wind her in. And with your fancy friend called a shifter, or a ratchet if you're a professional. Is that right? Maybe. Maybe? Need to find one first. Got a professional or a ratchet? Both. Both? Someone knows what they're doing. Maybe. Then you just wander in. We just like a bought one. The tape it so it don't go too hard on it. Beautiful. Beautiful, you know? Alright. So do you feel special? No, not really. Not really? All right. There's a spider on your head though. Is there? Yeah. Where? Right above, right above your head. <laughs> well, aren't you a funny man? <laughs> you jumped as well. <laughs> oh, so what's that? Oh, I don't like spiders. Never do. So mean. Yeah. So it's gonna rub on it. That's all right. Some small modification will have to come. Can you? Uh... Don't know what you can do. There. It's easy. What? Spin the. See, so bend the bracket further towards the other side. A little bit. Or, you could just f***ing leave it. No, you leave it. Should be alright. Right. Should be alright, love. <laughs> yeah. Full send. It might be okay. Tuck it in. Yeah, should be alright. Yeah, should be alright, love. Alright. Yeah. Um, do you want to run the hose now? From the back? And that? Because they're all going to be running up the front now. Yeah. So. Alright, we're going to run some hose and then I'll show you what we've done and where we've run it. All right, so we've uh, run the hoses. So the back one here runs up and across the top of the sub tank. As you better see on this side, so we've just got it running across here. Well, not quite on top of the sub tank, kind of on the side of it. Um, yep, so down through there. Across to the chassis rail. Another one there which needs to be chopped off. And we come up there, the transfer case. Runs up to the rubber hose up there. See the hose clamp on it. And I'll show you the front diff when we get up to uh, that side of things. So, so yeah, it's coming along pretty well. And we're almost done, which is sweet. And I'll show you what we'll do with that spare port. 
Right, so then we come up here with this bit here and we'll hook it into, I don't know which one, whichever one you're going to go to, which one are you going for? Probably the, that one there. That one there. Yep. And we'll use this one for a uh, winch breather because the gearbox is sealed. And the highest point on your gearbox is a dipstick anyway and that's got an O-ring and that's going to vent out through the transfer case side of things anyway, so that's not a problem. Um, obviously the diff down here, you just pop the top of the diff breather off. Um, put the hose in there, whack a hose clamp around it so it can't move and yeah, just run that up and that's what that one is up here for the front diff so oh, pretty yeah. straight forward and quite simple to do that's why this isn't going to be a really long video because it's a simple job and it doesn't take a lot long really if you set your mind to it so, and alright big sock I'll buy the oath mate buy the oath mate alright alright right, we'll finish this off and we'll show you the completed job So yeah, we're all done now. Um, diff breathers are in. And yeah, we left that other spare one there for the uh, winch when he eventually gets one for the winch breather. Get the bar first. Get the bar first, yep. So next uh, thing on uh, Big Sox list here is uh, bull bar. And um, yeah, you'd want to probably do the winch at the same time. Maybe. So, but we'll see. But you'll just probably rely on me to pull him out when you get stuck. So. Yeah, that's it. Easy. All right, guys. Cheers for watching, catch you in the next one.